So yeah, the title is only kind of clickbaity. I am deleting the channel, That Christian Vlogger, but I will be still making content on the internet. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Justin and you are watching the very last episode of That Christian Vlogger. Uh, kind of crazy to be here. I've been creating content on the internet now for a couple of years. I think I started the channel about three and a half years ago. As many of you guys know, I was teaching in Philadelphia and uh, like many people during that time, uh, watching a lot of Casey Neistat. Starting today, my 34th birthday, I'm going to make a movie every day. Like many of you guys, I went to the internet uh, looking for Christian vloggers and didn't really find many people out there doing it. And so I kind of threw my hat in the ring and started documenting my life and creating content on the internet. And I decided to name the channel That Christian Vlogger. Very simple, this is what it is. Me documenting my life as a Christian, sharing it with you. But uh, over the years, that's not really the kind of content that I ended up creating. I don't really vlog per se. And uh, even though like I've always felt like there was a disconnect there, uh, I still moved along with the name of the channel. Uh, long story short, that's going to be ending. I am going to be deleting the That Christian Vlogger, killing the That Christian Vlogger brand. And um, yeah, I'm gonna be shifting focuses a little bit because my interests have changed. Uh, I still will be making content that has some relation to faith, but that's not like the only thing that I'm wanting to do. One of the reasons is because, you know, I like to make videos that feature conversations that are a little, more, a little bit more challenging. Uh, many of you guys have seen my series on homosexuality with my friends Leon, as well as Matthias. And one of the common objections is like how I don't represent all of Christianity in the way that everyone always wants me to, which is kind of a, a duh moment. Like how can one person represent literally everyone? Um, and that's never been my intention. You know, my intention on the internet has been much less to be debating and arguing and to, you know, find out who's right and who's wrong and to prove my point. My, my goal on the internet has been more so to connect and uh, to connect with people who are different than me and maybe in those conversations to provide a way for you to connect with the friends and family in your life who might not exist within like the whole Christian culture. I'm wanting to create content that pushes the boundaries a little bit more, that pushes the envelope a little bit, to talk to the kinds of people that your grandmother might feel uncomfortable if you were talking to, to talk to the kinds of people your pastor says we should reach but probably never actually talks to you on a weekly basis. You know, people who aren't Christian, people who are atheists, people who are agnostic, people who have done time in prison, people who are part of the sex working industry or fill in the blank, whatever kind of social outcast or social other demographic. Like those are actually the kinds of conversations that I'm feeling more called to and more led to. But the challenge is, is doing that as like that Christian vlogger, I think a lot of people will have a, like a disconnect there. I wanna show up on the internet as just who I am like literally as just Justin Koo, and to show up for the kinds of conversations that matter to me. Uh, life, faith, and the things that matter. That's kind of what I'm going for in this next season. And so um, in the next couple of weeks, in maybe the next month or so, you'll notice things starting to change on the channel. Um, visually speaking, the branding is going to be changing, uh, the channel name is going to be shifting, and then even the kinds of shows and type of content that I'm gonna be creating is going to change fairly radically. But I think change is good and I'm excited. Uh, you know, this isn't something that I've taken lightly. I know that there's a, a big risk in changing things when things have been working well for so long. But uh, the whole reason why I'm doing this is because I really believe that this is the next season, this is the next phase that God's been calling uh, us into. All that to say, yeah, that Christian vlogger is dying. This new thing is starting. Um, I'm going to be going dark for a little bit to manage all the rebranding and fixing websites and all that kind of stuff. But the next video you see from us, uh, is going to be slightly different. And I guess I'll make no another video or two to kind of explain what kind of shows I'm going to be doing and what to expect and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm excited and I hope you are. I hope you decide to stick around and give some of the newer shows, uh, a shot 
to be challenged maybe uh, at looking at life differently, looking at people a little bit differently. Um, but yeah, if you don't choose to stick around, I just wanna say thank you for supporting the channel for the last however long you've been supporting. It means a lot that I can sit in front of a camera like this, hit record and know that people are gonna pay attention and they're gonna talk and they're gonna share. And so thank you for being a part of this journey and I'm excited for the next season. I hope that uh, you continue to be a part of it. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you guys in the next video, whenever that is. Peace.